Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, guys, a lot of guys out there have a really difficult time reading the cues, the body language, the emotions of women. And guys, I'm no different, okay? I just studied women and studied behavior so long that I'm probably about this much closer than most guys are in understanding the social cues of women. So let's look at this in season one, episode two of Big Bang Theory. You know I'm a big fan. I love Big Bang Theory. And a lot of my clients and the people I help are just like those four main characters in Big Bang Theory. And in this case, let's talk about Sheldon Cooper. Now, in episode two, now remember, season one, this is only the second episode, Penny asks Leonard to look for some furniture that's being delivered the next day to her apartment and gave her, gave him her key to the apartment. The next day, a big box arrives. Leonard and Sheldon struggle to get it upstairs and into Penny's apartment. Eventually they do. And then Sheldon looks around and says, oh my gosh, this place is a mess. Well, when Penny gets home, they go back to their apartment. And that night, that night, Sheldon can't sleep. Why can't Sheldon sleep? Because he knows there's an apartment right across the hall from him that's in disarray. So later that night, Leonard wakes up. It's like two or three in the morning. He wakes up and hearing those noises outside. So he grabs his saber, his electric saber, and walks out into the living room to find the door open. And then the door open to Penny's apartment. And Sheldon in Penny's apartment, while Sheldon's sleeping, he's cleaning up. Now, he specifically tells Penny later earlier that day that it's not that she's dirty, it's just messy. Clothes everywhere, magazines everywhere, just stuff everywhere. So Sheldon cleans Penny's apartment. Leonard assists because he's just trying to help get Sheldon out of her apartment, knowing that she's going to be pissed the next day. And guess what? You hear her screaming from Sheldon in Leonard's apartment. What did you guys do? When she comes over and reads them right at, gets the key back from, from Leonard and tells Leonard, I don't know if I ever want to see you guys again, and leaves. Later on, she's thinking about it. You know, gosh, all I do is fall in love with these bad boys, these guys with these big muscles, big meathead guys, you might say, where they don't really know how to communicate with a woman. They're not very talkative. They're not very expressive. They're not very caring. And she knows that these guys did this because they care about her. So she's walking down the stairs, carrying her laundry basket to the laundry room. And Rajesh Kunthapali is coming upstairs with a bag of food. Well, Rajesh is the one that just cannot talk to women at all. At this point in the series, episode two, he couldn't talk to a woman if he life depended on it. So Raj is carrying his bag of food up. He meets Penny and Penny stops and says, Raj, and he stops her and walks right up to her with her, with her basket in, in, in her hands, right up to Raj and gets right in his face. And Raj is so uncomfortable. In fact, he's just looking at her and all he can think about is sex. All he can think about is being with this woman. And she's going, Raj, you know, maybe Sheldon and Leonard aren't so bad. You know, they seem like really nice guys. And I know they were trying, even though I, it was really, it really creeped me out, but you know, are they really nice guys? And the reality is, Yes, they are those nice guys. Later on in this episode, Leonard, in order to see Penny more, keeps stealing her mail, of all things. Guys, you don't have to steal a woman's mail to get to know them better. So he hears Penny come home from work. He grabs the mail, runs out of the apartment to find Penny kissing, again, another big strong guy at her door. And he gets so shy and he gets a little nervous and he looks down and he can't, he's not, he's just not confident. And finally he gives her the mail and then leaves. But he's so upset, he's so distraught. But if you would look at Penny, you can tell she's not really into that guy. And she's more interested in talking with Leonard. And of course, after she talked to Rajesh about, gosh, are these guys really not really nice guys? And they just creep me out because they're different because I'm just so used to going out with these guys that are big meatheads, big muscles, and don't have a lot of intelligence. 
So this is when Penny starts thinking about what it would be like to date Leonard. Yet Leonard is so shy and so awkward and so nervous that he can't even talk to her. And it takes seasons before they really start getting together. And eventually, you know, they do get married and live probably ever after. So guys, you too can start reading women and understand those social and emotional cues that they let off. It's not that hard. It takes just a little bit of time, a little bit of talent. And you'll see that throughout my videos on this channel. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to watch and tune in to the next video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.